Hey everybody, it's Aquaman, and on this episode, we're going to talk about post-life from the trail. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys. I know it's been a while since I've posted. In fact, it's been about two months and a lot's happened since I've been home and I wanted to kind of talk about some of the things that have been going on and where I am right now and where I hope to be maybe a year from now. So let's start with what happened. For those of you who don't remember, I got into Harper's Ferry on my through hike attempt and developed. I had developed a, a pretty substantial knee injury and believed it to be the best choice to get off trail before I hit Pennsylvania and the rocks and do more damage than I than I'd already done so, uh, so that was the uh, the choice that had to be made so once I had to made the decision to come home um, it was heartbreaking uh, to say the least and I really I really had post trail depression right out of the chute because I hadn't completed it I know a lot of people get it after they complete the complete the, the entire through through hike all the way to Katahdin or vice versa to Springer but for me it was bittersweet because I got to get home earlier than expected which offered me a lot of different opportunities that I was putting off because of being on trail but it also meant I didn't complete the trail which was heartbreaking because one I wanted to complete it I wanted to go to Katahdin and I felt like I had abandoned two of my friends, Potato and Teflon. So, yeah, so that was that was that was that. The post trail depression was very brutal. It, I can only say, being that I had suffered from post traumatic stress disorder in the past, over other traumatic incidents in my life, it was it was another hit to my to my psyche to that level of a, a post-traumatic disorder um, because I wasn't sleeping well uh, I was constantly dreaming about being on trail I just I had a, a very deep emptiness inside me and I knew my friends were still on trail and I wasn't there with them anymore you know they were my support blanket I was their support blanket so I felt like I had failed them and the injury to me I felt like part of me was like well I could have just I could have done it I could have made it through and part of me was like it was the best decision to get off trail so, so that was that was very difficult for me and it took me a long time to come to grips with that as far as uh, potato and Teflon were concerned I did stay in close contact and to this day I stay in close contact with them and I I try to boost them when they're having bad days they call me or contact me and I try to give them pep talks and you know we, we exchange messages I, I keep tabs on them and I think we will be forever friends close friends because of the time we did spend on trail and for that I am eternally grateful that I was given the opportunity to make such an amazing friend on the trail and uh, I love them so much and I, I wish them the, the best. Uh, from what I understand, they look to be trying to summit around the end of September. So, um, wishing them all the best of luck. As for my knee and my ankle, my ankle healed up pretty well um, without a whole lot of trouble. Going up and down stairs when I first got home was very difficult. And if I went for any length of a walk and came home, and sat down my knee would be in agony for a while I went ahead and started doing my own rehab I tried to make a doctor's appointment and unfortunately with the insurance situation and with COVID it took almost two months before I got a doctor's appointment for my primary care and my primary care wouldn't let me have a referral to see a um, or to get my knee looked at until I had seen her so, so I had to wait for that appointment and then make another appointment. So as of right now, I have seen 
my primary care. I have gotten all my blood work and stuff submitted. I haven't gotten the results back, and I'll let you guys know how that all comes out. And I did get an MRI yesterday, and I've continued to uh, rehab my knee by swimming. I swim about two to two and a half miles three days a week in open water with fins to help uh, give my knee some resistance and my legs plenty of resistance. So, uh, so that's been working out pretty well, and it's been helping me maintain um, a mental status, a, a, a nice level mental thought process, as well as helping my knee recover. Now, going forward, what are my plans? Do I plan on finishing Katahdin all the way to Katahdin? Yes. I definitely am not going to write off the Appalachian Trail. Now, will I be able to go back next year and do the other half? Probably not not the whole thing what i'm hoping to do and i don't know if this is kind of selling out on the idea of doing a through hike but i'm going to section hike it uh, my goal is to do about a 250 to 300 mile section next year which should only take me a little over a month or so and then the following year do another 300 mile or so section and then the year after that finish going through the whites and all the way to katahdin keeping myself in physical shape for it the whole time. Um, it does two things. One, it makes me maintain a level of health and fitness as I need to be in that kind of shape to continue forward each year, looking forward to it. It keeps me employed because I can, I can take a month or so sabbatical versus taking a six month sabbatical. Uh, I am an occupational therapy practitioner. So leaving my patients for long periods of time isn't really advisable um, it's not a smart move so this way they only have to be seen by other clinicians for a short amount of time so uh, that allows me to go forward so do I plan on finishing Katahdin to the, the Appalachian Trail all the way to Katahdin yes uh, am I gonna do it next year by itself no my goal is to do it over the next few years and but I will complete it uh, Christian's ashes will go and touch the Katahdin sign at some point in the future. Um, it's just a matter of time. Now, what am I doing in the meantime? Well, in the meantime, I started a new YouTube channel, which hopefully will be one of these places you'll be able to see. Uh, it's called Aquaman Adventures, and it's basically my other adventures that are not hiking related directly. So, as examples, uh, one of the first episodes is I got to go out to Hollywood and be part of a red carpet premiere for the movie The Suicide Squad. And I've got many of these kind of adventures lined up. I'm also going to be discussing some of my adventures from my past. So it'll be part new stories, part story time. And uh, so I'll get to talk about some of the adventures that I've done. And you'll get to watch me do things like go to comic book conventions and see how I actually got my name as the true Aquaman and as well as doing crazy things like, you know, going scuba diving in Central America and, you know, maybe even jumping out of airplanes. Who knows? Uh, I've got a whole list of ideas of things I'm going to do, and my stories are far and wide. Uh, some of the most crazy things that I've done. Uh, people on trail used to love hearing my stories, so I thought now I'll share them, but I'll share them on a new channel. So it'll be Aquaman Adventures, so please check that out on YouTube and subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell. I hope to hopefully have a new story for you every Friday, whether it'll be a new story or um, one of my older stories. But still, I, I hope to keep you guys entertained with that. And uh, so with that, I think that pretty much wraps up where I am right now. Um, medically, you know, going forward, I'm waiting on all the test results. And if anything comes back negative, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Otherwise, hopefully I'll be able to get back into uh, rucking and uh, developing my leg muscles even stronger. So for next year, I'll be ready to hit Pennsylvania and New Jersey, which is my goal. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, hopefully I'll catch you guys over on my other channel, Aquaman Adventures. Take care. If you haven't subscribed, please do hit that notification bell so that way you know exactly when I do drop my next video. And uh, I'll see you guys on the trail. You guys take care.